distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all of you. I'm very delighted to be here this morning at the National Health IT Summit 2018, the 10th edition of this event. This is an exciting time for innovative development and application of technology in healthcare. We have already gotten started on this journey. If we move faster, if we transform the core, and if we collaborate and scale, we will be able to harness the benefits in more effective and impactful ways. I believe that for the first time in the history of humanity, we have come to a place where we can make healthcare accessible, affordable, put it in the hands of every human being on earth. And we can only do so because instead of being in a place now where one doctor has to deal with one patient, we can train machines, we can have doctors train artificial intelligence to deal with many patients at the same time. That is a historic event. We're aiming to build this open system that allows us to connect that whole family of devices, from all the way from medical devices up to those service robots that you're already seeing running around your facilities. We're going to bring all those systems, which are already on their own providing value, and connect them together in a way that we can get a lot more out of the entire system. Things like AI, analytics, Internet of Things, home monitoring, all these sort of things have to be embedded in the healthcare system and so that the healthcare system uh, uses tech as part and parcel of the normal service delivery. And that, that to us is the key. Can we build the tech and the service models at the same time so they work together? And only then I think can we sustain healthcare for our aging populations in the long run. So you know that technology level is not that difficult, also not that easy. But it's usually the people issue, right? It's about the policies, stuff like that, that we have to jump over and, you know, that we have to deal with. What we do in health has a positive impact on someone, on a lot of someones, if we do it right. In the next 10 years, we'll have five times more connectivity within our health organizations and operations. That's a great thing, but the challenge that brings about with cybersecurity specifically is one of the immense importance and we will see a big part of security measures focused on health, security professionals focusing in, on the health space, uh, because these networks are very important, those medical records are very important, uh, and with medical devices, they are connected to people. To me, innovation is not just an idea, it's actually translating that idea uh, and that translation must result in a better way of doing things. You need to be able to recognize what are the issues first, what are the needs, what are the changes to the healthcare system you need to do. Then you bring in the technology to actually make it slightly easier and faster and cheaper to do that. We don't need 100% agreement on everything before we can move. If you can agree what are the core elements, and that is already sufficient. Typically, in the healthcare community, a lot of the conversations were dominated by the medical specialists. But so much of the improvements and innovation and money saving or manpower savings are not necessarily coming from the clinical medical side. And I think, uh, if I may suggest, you, you do need to give uh, some place in the sun to the non-medical people because that's where a lot of potential savings, a lot of potential innovation can come. One of the key things for health IT and innovation really to take off is the collaboration that must happen between all the different sectors and players in the health ecosystem. Building on, on a, a, a innovative uh, discovery and then building on it and making sure that 
it gets prototyped, developed, and 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 go beyond a proof of concept to really prove a value and then scale.